in this lesson we will cover how to convert the uh, de delimiter separated uh, values into collection so I have the code written in the notepad so first uh, I have the delimiter as the delimiter between rows is the pipe character delimiter within the uh, uh, within the rows delimiter for the columns is the uh, semicolon so let's take this we'll create the uh, table data what we saved in our last lesson of the repeating uh, section is the same uh, value I have put it in hard coded here so let's begin with hard coded values and then we'll move on to the actual code saving the repeat uh, extracting from SharePoint so first let's run this okay so let's see what's in the so str table data is just contains the string nothing um, nothing very special here so if you see here under variables you will see that uh, this is the string so we move to the next piece of code which is uh, uh, extracting the rows this is the first row one in the cup shake is the first row two mike tyson in the second row so we are splitting it based on the pipe character the vertical line so that will give us the different rows so we will put this code here this two we will put in one button so when we run this we will see that it has extracted it will extract two values after the split so let's see what arr rows contain so view variables is a table so first row second row so the pipe will separate the rows then we'll move on to this uh, extracting the uh, individual value individual values within a row so now this arr rows we will loop through it we we'll loop it two times in this case because we have two uh, two rows so we already know that the first n this particular uh, will return the first uh, you know n results so in this case it will become the first uh, one row and then last means it will extract only one value in this here in this uh, code here it will extract two rows and then extract the last element so the second field which is the uh, first name and similarly this will extract the uh, three uh, rows and then last on that will extract the third row third uh, column of that particular row so we have already seen this uh, so let's put this in the previous uh, uh, videos the split and first and split I have already covered this how to do this so we'll put a button here so first we'll create this then we run this So let's see the variables of course we have already seen this then we'll see what are, what's the collection so this is the collection we get then we will put a gallery here insert gallery vertical so this is what we got here here we can put some more values we'll separate it with the pipe we'll take this then three comp semicolon a and n and semicolon third one m c k e n c c e e 
so let's run this piece of code we'll run this first run this oh we didn't say clear collect so it's important that when we do this we do a clear collect it's very important um, oh so we have to clear it separately but we, we will cover that in the uh, next uh, lesson we can cover or we can just put here clear and then um, a r double because in the for loop we cannot do that oh no 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 collect this one So we got three here. Uh, then, if we remove and hopefully we will uh, get less rows. Let's add one more entry here. We'll copy this code and put a fourth record there. So our SharePoint, if you see, we have stored in this format. So. I'll just put Mr. A B C and his name is Tyson. No, we already have Tyson. And D E F. Okay, let's let's run this. So I click this. So like this. So we have covered how we can extract the value from this uh, string separate the rows and from the rows we'll extract the different columns so uh, this is how we extract the uh, values into a gallery